Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Biological Concepts. In today's video, we will learn the easy way to remember gram positive and gram negative bacteria. So stay tuned. First of all, we will learn the easy way to remember gram positive cocci. If the genus name of the bacteria ends with cocci, then most of the cases the bacteria are gram positive cocci. For example, lactococci, enterococci, staphylococci, streptococci, pneumococci. All these bacteria ends with cocci and these are gram positive cocci. But there is also exception. Although meningococci ends with cocci, but it is not gram positive cocci. It is gram negative cocci. And another exception is viridens. Viridens is also a gram positive cocci, but it does not end with cocci. So remember also this viridens. Another way you can remember this gram positive cocci is that just remember one sentence that is love is positive. Love gives you the positive sense. By remembering this love is positive, you can remember the gram positive cocci. How? Just see. Here L, L for lactococci. Then omit this O. After that comes V, V for viridens. Then is E, E for enterococci then love is positives for p positives p p here staphylococci streptococci pneumococci all there is also p presence and these are also gram positive cocci you can consider any of the two ways according to your preference okay now let's discuss how to remember gram positive bacilli to remember this gram positive bacilli you have to remember a B, C, A for actinomyces, B for bacillus and then C for clostridia. But there are also some important gram positive bacilli that are mycobacterium, listeria, corinibacterium. To remember this, you have to remember one sentence that is mind blowing activities of a beautiful cute little child. Mind blowing activities of a beautiful cute little child. Here mind M for mycobacterium, then mind blowing activities, acti, A-C-T-I, acti, here is also actinomyces of a beautiful B for bacillus, then is cute, this C for clostridium, and then little L for listeria, and last is child, child C for corinibacterium. Thus, you can remember this gram-positive bacilli. Next is the gram-negative cocci. To remember this gram-negative cocci, this remember that this gram-negative cocci is miseria. For negative, N is the first letter and for miseria, N is also the first letter. In cocci, there is double C. In miseria, there is double S. Thus, you can remember this gram-negative cocci. Also note that the Nizaria is also known as meningococci. Okay. Next is gram-negative bacilli. To remember this gram-negative bacilli, you have to remember that if the genus name of the bacteria ends with E-L-L-A, then the bacteria are gram-negative bacilli. For example, Shigella, Salmonella, Legionella, Klebsiella, Bordetella, Brucella, Franciella, Pasteurella. All are ends with E L L A and these all are gram negative bacilli. There are also some important gram negative bacilli that is Helicobacter, Haemophilus, E. coli. To remember this, you have to remember one word that is H. H gives you a negative sense. So H for Helicobacter, H A means Haemophilus, and then omit this E. And last is E, E for E. coli. By remembering this heat, head, you can remember Helicobacter, Hemophilus and E. coli that are gram-negative bacilli. Another important uh, gram-negative bacilli is Pseudomonas. As we know that pseudo means also fake. It also pseudo means a negative sometimes. Okay. This pseudomonas is also a gram-negative bacilli. 
and another important bacillus is Vibrio cholerae, Campylobacter, Yersinia. You have to remember this three also. Okay. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.